Hey everybody. All right, so I just wanted to share this. Um, tried to take the tank out of this thing the other day so I could get the fuel pump out because um, the plan is to put that small block 400 in here and I'm not going to go fuel injection or at least not at this point in time. So I had tried to just take the straps down and slide this tank out and I took the two straps down, disconnected the filler neck. It would not budge. Um, this little plastic cover fell right off, that guy, but the tank itself wouldn't budge. Um, I even got a little pry bar in there and tried to pry it a little bit and I was like, no, it's something's holding it. It's just not stuck with gunk and goo, so I don't know. Anyways, that's the reason it's in this position right now. Um, and of course, it's not really movable. I don't have an extra set of hands now, so... I can't get it up to the garage. It's just do it right here where it sits. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share I can't get the tank out. Um, and then the other thing was when I got the truck, I know it had low compression on a couple of cylinders, which I still don't know if it's a cracked head block, what it was. Um, I still haven't got the 454 block back from the machine shop. But anyways, um, when I got the sending unit out, I just stuck it back in to keep the dirt and dust out of it until a new one arrives. But when I did the sending unit, when I took it out, the hose inside was all just deteriorated. So I'm thinking now, was that the whole entire issue with the fuel delivery on this thing? I don't know. But uh, so anyways, I just wanted to share that. I'll, I'll show you guys the pump in just a second when I get back up to the garage and show you what I mean. All right, so as you can see, not that that's... I don't think going to hurt it as far as fuel delivery, um, cause junk to get sucked up in there, but this is what I was talking about. This end of it here, you can see that hose is just, just destroyed. It's gummy, it's, as you can see, it's like rubber almost. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm thinking now maybe that was the fuel delivery issue on that truck, but Again, I'm, I the 454 is out. It's not going back in there. I got that small block 400 that is going in there. Um, I did put that aftermarket camshaft. So I don't know how all that would work as far as using the factory 454 computer, um, the throttle body, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go with the original plan of put that 400 in there with the carburetor. Um, the reason I took this pump out is... I want to put just an extension tube um, where this would actually go onto the pickup unit down to here. Just a little piece of copper um, and connect it up. I bought a coupler, a, a compression fitting coupler, and I was just going to put the compression end on one side, tighten it down, and like I said, get a little piece of copper, run it down to here, tighten it up as well, put the new sending unit in. The only reason I went with the new sending unit is because I figured it was really a pain to get that thing out. Well, probably just because I did double work, pulling, the, trying to pull the tank and then put the tank back and then take the bed partially off and all that good stuff. But anyways, um, point being, it was a little bit of a hassle. And since that sending unit is who knows how old, I just went ahead and ordered another sending unit. That way, when I do get the truck back together, hopefully it works out that uh, the gas gauge works. But... Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is what I found and kind of wondering if maybe that was part of the or all of the fuel delivery issue, why that truck didn't start and run. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.